Hello everybody, Paul here from Pro Clockers to take a look at the GeForce GTX 1060 Gaming X 3 Gig Edition from MSI. I already have it installed on the workbench over there, so we're just going to hop right into it, take a look at the card, go over some of the features, and then take a look at the benchmarks. Right, so here it is. It looks very similar to the 1070 I recently reviewed and pretty much every other card in their Gaming X lineup. It has the Twin Frozer 6 cooler, which has RGB lighting here and right up here where the MSI logo is. Um, Really beautiful card. It has three different modes, silent gaming mode and OC mode. Silent mode has a base clock of 1506 and a boost to 1708. Gaming mode has a base of 15, uh, 1569 and a boost of 1784. And OC mode, which is what I'm going to run all my benchmarks in, has a base of 1594 and a boost of 1809. But as we all know, GPU boost 3.0 is going to boost this card up a lot more than that. So, um... Let's go right into some of the benchmarks. So here are the settings I used. Uh, I pushed the power limit as high as it could go using MSI Afterburner and it got to 108%. Uh, I pushed the temp up a little bit, but this card came nowhere near the temp limit. Um, when I ran the first benchmark on the stock clocks, it went about as high as 54 degrees Celsius and the fans never even spun up. Um, that's because of their zero frozer technology which every one of their cards implements. And these Torque 2 or Torx 2.0 fans do an excellent job at keeping the um, the, the card cooled. It's, it's just unbelievable. If you can see each blade has a different design. One of them is to kind of designed to push the air down onto the cooler, and the other one is designed to just kind of speed up the fans and accelerate airflow. Really cool feature, and they work awesome. All right, due to the fact that my test bench is relatively new, I only have really 3D Mark installed on it right now, and I'm going to save the rest of the benchmarks for the full review coming out on ProClockers.com in the next couple weeks. So I ran Fire Strike and Time Spy. On Fire Strike, my highest score I got was 11,806, and the core boosted up to 2139. Um, and these were with the same overclocking uh, settings that I showed you. Just because of the way GPU Boost 3.0 works, they both got different boost clocks. However, both of them, the highest I've seen this card hit has been 65 degrees Celsius on any run. These fans are amazing. This cooler is amazing. And on Time Spy, I hit 4369, and the boost clock on that got up to 2152, which is the second highest boost clock I've seen on any Pascal card I've had come through here. Um, the only one higher was my Founders Edition 1070, which hit 2178. But the 405 1080s, 405 1070s, and this 1060 and the Titan X, this is the second highest boost clock I have seen on any Pascal yet. Um, sorry, any Pascal card yet. And again, that is because of this Twin Frozer 6 cooler. It is a monster. It is amazing. Um, probably the best cooler on the market right now, at least in my opinion. All right, so here we have the MSI Gaming X1060 on my test bench. And right here is some of the uh, RGB lighting. The other lighting effect is over here on the front. You can very easily change it using the MSI Gaming app. You can change the effects. There's breathing, flashing, double flashing, random effect. You can do no animation. Um, you can literally change it through the entire color spectrum here. I always keep mine on red. But if you wanted to change it to blue, all you got to do is slide it down there, click apply, and now we have a blue effect. Over here you can see where you can switch from OC mode, gaming mode, to silent mode. But even in OC mode, this car does not get loud at all. Um, and to really quick to go over the test bench, I have a 6700K clocked at 4.6. It is being cooled by a Swiptek 140mm all-in-one cooler. Uh, it is expandable. I changed the tubing on it. It had thinner tubing. I like this tubing. It matches the build. Um, I have 20, I'm sorry, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaws 4 2400 megahertz DDR4. 
Uh, the boot drive is an 850 Evo, and the motherboard is a Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 5. Beautiful board. I got it on a great deal. I paid 135 bucks for it. It has dual Gigabit LAN, dual M.2 ports, and it is all sitting on a Primo Chill Praxis wet bench, which I have to thank both Primo Chill and Stan from Pro Clockers for sending me this beautiful, beautiful test bench. I can't say enough things about this. There will be a video coming up on that very soon. The fans stop spinning altogether. And as soon as the combined test kicks in, the fans will spin back up. So right now we're just going to listen to the fans really quick to see what kind of decibel level you can expect off this card under load during a benchmark. Wasn't the greatest run, but if you can see up there, it's got 11,130 and it only boosted up to 2000 megahertz only and max temp it only hit 63 degrees celsius through that whole benchmark yeah the cold clock hit 2000 megahertz so at 2000 megahertz this card kept the core at 63 degrees Celsius. Unbelievable, that's that Twin Frozer 6 cooler for you. Alright, so there we have it guys. It's the MSI GTX 1060 Gaming X 3 Gig Edition. And, um, great card. It stayed um, unbelievably cool throughout those benchmarks. Um, max temp was 63 degrees, which is just amazing. And that's that Twin Frozer 6 cooler for you. Um, so you can see my full written review of this on ProClockers.com coming up within the next week or two. And in the meantime, you can check out my review of this, the Mastercase Pro 3 that just went live today. And it is, in my opinion, the best MATX case you can buy, especially at $99. Cannot beat this case. Check out the review. I go really in-depth with it. It is the most modular case I've ever seen, and I might even do a video on it later today. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, check out ProClockers.com. If you like this video, give us a like. It really helps me out. And thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.